Abby Huntsman quits The View. There is more to the story. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. So I pretty much told y'all guys this since day one, that girl showed up on the show, that she won't last long. The girl sounds like a news reporter. And today she was on The View and she simply said that she's leaving The View because she wants to help her dad who's running for the governor of Utah in 2020. But y'all, there's more to the story. Cause you don't just quit the view when your father is a billionaire and when your father's father, who's your grandpa, uh, was a multi-billionaire. You don't, you don't just leave the view just to be the senior advisor of the show. There is more to the story. So as you guys know, there's been reports that Abby Huntsman and Meghan McCain relationship has became strained. And as you can recall last week, and it makes sense that, you know, because Abby went into the talent manager's office and she was like, hey, like, I'm leaving The View, allegedly, because, you know, it's a toxic environment. You know, so there's more to the story than her uh, father running for governor again in Utah. And and also last week was the very first time she defended herself against Meghan McCain. So in her mind, it was kind of like set in stone. She talked to the talent manager and was like, hey, I'm leaving The View and I'm going to announce it on Monday of, of this week which was today. So you don't just leave a primetime show and you make a lot of money. The girl is making at least six figures a year. And if I'm sitting on that show for an hour, an hour, literally, and before the show, I'm being prepped by producers and I'm making 100,000 plus a year on the show. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming she's, she's making at least, I would say 250K at minimum on that show, right? And so that's over 10K a month. You sit on a show for an hour. She doesn't really talk much. And you're making over 10 plus, 10 plus thousand dollars a month. Would you take that job if you're making 20K a month? If you're making about 20K a month, that's 200, 240,000 a year, 20K plus a month on the view. You're sitting on there on your behind for one hour and then you go home with your family. Would you take that job? Would you quit the show? Just so you can help your dad become the senior advisor. And I know money ain't everything, but uh, baby, that's money. That's money. That's money. That's a coin right there. So there's a toxic environment, you know, at the show. And she's just not comfortable with the drama and basically the power that the view brings with drama. Because literally, like Whippy says, it's a lot. And it's like literally a half of America, the half of the world can hate you. And half the world, you know, can love you. And sometimes it's like the whole world hates you based on your views. So the girl can't handle it. And, you know, she didn't want to become a journalist. So she decided to become a commentator, which she was on Fox and Friends. And, you know, now she's leaving The View. And she always thought that television was not her thing. She felt like she didn't fit in. And I finally believe that she obviously feels now that she can't fit in as a journalist and can't fit in as a commentator. And... You got to understand that like when Joy asks her, so are you going to come back? Because after your dad won, what you going to do? Like, like what you, how are you going to help him win? How? Please tell me how. And the fact that you're saying that um, you got to be as tough as bricks to be on the view table. So that person better watch out in Utah because um, my father's senior advisor. Girl, what the hell you brought to the table? What the hell you brought to the table except for lies you spewed about AOC and lies you spewed about Donald Trump, and lies you spewed out about your party, and claiming that you're a moderate when low-key you were a Republican. Now, don't get me wrong, the girl seems nice and, and smiley and so on and so forth, and just because I'm speaking this way doesn't mean that I don't like the girl. I just, I'm just being honest with y'all. It's just the real deal. And y'all was like, oh no, she's gonna stay. No, I knew the girl was gonna leave. I knew a fact she was gonna leave, and the next person that's gonna leave is Megan McCain, and then after Megan McCain, it's gonna be uh, Whippy Goldberg, and then it's gonna be Sonny. And look, I, I just want to know who's gonna be the next co-host, and they need to bring Anna Navarro on. And I know Megan pissed off, so y'all, talent manager, hire Anna Navarro or hire me. Bring me on that show, please, because I'll get Megan McCain together. Please, please, and thank you. I will take twenty k a month by sitting on my ass for one hour. Talking about politics, talking about pop culture, playing games, introducing food segments, introducing s singers and, and actors and everybody. So please bring me on that show. 
Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Deuces! Yeah!